Good morning, good morning. Donna here from Blind and Homesteading. How are you all? I hope you're well. I'm Donna, I am legally blind and I love to cook from scratch. I have a veggie garden and chooks and I am going to take you through that journey with my homesteading podcasts. Uh, and so welcome if you're new. If you've seen me before, I also have another podcast called Blind and Knitting. So if you love crafts, handcrafts and knitting, you're welcome to pop over and have a look at that one as well. So today I am planting, it's the middle of winter here, although have a look at the weather behind me. It's hard to believe it's the middle of winter. It's a stunning day out here. Um, I am going to plant garlic and I've got some cabbages and silver beet to plant. I usually don't plant much and winter down my gardens uh, but I figured they were on special at the plant shop they obviously wanted to get rid of them and um, I'm not going to lose anything if they don't if the winters sometimes what happens is you plant them now and they take so long to grow that by the time you plant your spring growth plants they catch up to them and uh, they all yield at the same time but Anyway, um, I have to wear a hat because of glare, as I have said in other podcasts. So that's this is my gardening, my my old. This is my gardening top and my outside top. And so I'll give you a quick sort of squiz at the garden. It's not very fruitful at the moment because, as I said, it's the middle of winter. But you can have a look around, and uh, then I can uh, do my planting and get back inside to uh, I'm hoping to get some knitting done today although it's a beautiful day it's good light for me it's it is still winter and I've got the fire going and yeah knitting is the goal all right so I'll turn you around here we go this is the veggie garden so I have in here I have leeks oh, I can't see I'm blind so I hope I'm showing you actual gardens uh, and here we have leeks and the last of my carrots and parsnips. My parsnips actually did really well this year. Uh, so, yeah, and my leeks are taking along quite nicely. I think I'll just put some more carrot seeds in there. Um, I have, this is where my uh, cabbages are going to go in here. So I'll put my cabbages in here. That's an old broccoli plant. What I do is when broccoli is... You get the big heads, I yield those, but I don't take the plant out. And then you get lots and lots of little ones. Uh, some of them are really good to eat. I like the little tight ones. Um, and some of them the chooks love. So it's uh, both food for the chooks and food for us. And there's another one further over. There's yams in there. And um, another broccoli plant there. I did plant some um, peas along here. And I don't think they're taking. They might take yet. We'll see. Hopefully they'll grow over this. So that one over there has herbs in it. It's got chives and parsley, um, which I tend to dehydrate and use fresh. There's a garden over there that's got, it's a new garden. It has basil and, um, basil, thyme and mint in there. I like to keep mint controlled. You do need to keep it controlled. And my compost bins, I have four compost bins. That one's chocker, as you can see. That one's been used, but it's got a friend of mine gave me some grass clippings and horse poo. Of course, my chook poo goes in there and any scraps and the other two. Uh, those ones are really good to keep rats and birds and etc. out. So if I have food scraps, they tend to go in those ones. So, yeah, that's... Um, that's where the chooks, and the chooks of course are over the back there, so I can just throw scraps over to them. They're in their sort of winter side at the moment, so they can get some lovely sun, um, and this not on this side. Um, yeah, so we've got, uh, these here are going to grow butternut pumpkins and beans. Uh, we, I've taken the last of the cabbages out of there, which we're going to have for tea uh, in the next week so that's empty I might put my garlic in there actually that's probably a good idea and that one there is empty as well and maybe that can be the silver beet so I've got Brussels sprouts in here so we both love Brussels sprouts so we're waiting for those to come up and uh, this is my you know bean uh, thing but in the winter I use it for Brussels sprouts and over there I have um, broad beans I'm the only one that loves broad beans and I'll just freeze them for me so um, 
yeah, just a few broad bee plants for something different. This is my boysenberry and raspberry. They need cutting back, that's a job for a weekend, but I'm not going to do it this weekend. And my strawberries weren't very successful this year. We had rabbit problems, etc. So, um, yeah, well, the strawberries are under that white. My lemon tree and lime tree need repotting. We're going to find um, the miniatures, but we're going to find some big planters for those. That's the next mission. And I think that's generally all about the garden. Um, yeah, it keeps me amused. I, this is what I say is my happy place. I've got a kitchen sink along there and I just collect water underneath and I've got those two big water barrels there that I collect water and that's where I get because I haven't got any sort of running water over here, which is a bit of a pain, but we have talked about putting a roof on there and some water, collecting water there or putting another tank at the back. But it's a journey. You can only do so much at once. Um, I got given a bath recently. It's filled with water at the moment because of winter. But that is going to be for potatoes, I think. Um, and what I think I will do is move my strawberries up into one of these tall ones so that the rabbits and don't eat them and have and fill that with berry plants. Yeah, we can. I've got a guava down the end. You probably can't see that. Um, yeah, so I'll turn you back around. There I am again, I hope. Um, yeah, so there's my garden. I'm just going to go and potter and plant some plants. I'll see you next time and enjoy the rest of your day.